The dog froze in the snow. But what was under her stomach made her survive. In a small town in Ontario, Canada. An intense snowstorm hides an act of love and bravery. That transcends the barriers between species. When a woman discovers a frozen little dog in the snow. She will soon realize that there is more to this than meets the eye. Stay with me, and I will tell you the story. The story takes place in Ontario, Canada. In a quiet town where people led simple and relaxed lives. Winter had arrived with force that year. And the snow covered the landscape like an implacable white mantle. Despite the difficulties brought by the weather. Kindness and love still shone in the hearts of its inhabitants. The protagonist of our story is a dog named Donna. A homeless German Shepherd who roamed the streets in search of food and shelter. Donna had been abandoned by her previous owner and had learned to fend for herself in this harsh world. Despite the adversities, Donna maintained hope of one day finding a loving home with a family who truly wanted her. For this reason, she was friendly to all passers-by. One night, while Donna was looking for a place to shelter from the cold snowstorm, she heard faint meows coming from a nearby bush. Intrigued and worried, Donna followed the sounds until she found five little kittens totally abandoned. They had lost their mother, and how it happened was a total mystery. However, the kittens were trembling with cold and hunger. Despite being different species, Donna felt an inexplicable and undeniable connection. With these vulnerable babies, it was as if her maternal instincts awakened suddenly, urging her to protect these little creatures who desperately needed her help. No matter that they were cats or dogs, this dog knew. They were living beings that were suffering, and her heart wouldn't allow her to turn her back on them, just as others had once done to her. With great effort and bravery, the German Shepherd dragged her tired body towards the kittens. Fighting against the furious snowstorm and icy wind. Her paws sank into the snow, and her muscles screamed in pain. Once beside them, Donna huddled around the kittens. Using her large and furry body to shield them from the relentless cold. Even as her own strength waned, and her body shivered with cold. Donna refused to move, determined to keep the kittens warm, even at the cost of her own life. And so, in the midst of chaos and despair of the storm, Donna displayed an act of love and sacrifice that transcended the barriers between species. Despite being different species, this dog felt a strong impulse to protect these vulnerable babies. Throughout the night, the brave dog guarded the kittens, willing to sacrifice her own comfort and well-being to keep them alive. The next morning, Lila, a kind 35-year-old woman, woke up early as usual, preparing to face another day of work at her local grocery store. Although she was accustomed to cold mornings, this one, in particular, felt even colder and more challenging than the previous ones. However, being a hard-working woman, she would not allow this to stop her. She dressed in warmer clothes, made sure her scarf, gloves, and boots were properly worn. And before leaving her house, she checked once again that her dog was well taken care of, sufficiently protected against the cold. Delilah opened the door of her home and stepped into the freezing day. As she walked along the snowy road, snowflakes fell around her once again. Despite the cold, the woman couldn't help but admire the beauty of her surroundings. It was then that she noticed something unusual. An owl in the snow that seemed out of place in that perfect landscape. Guided by her curiosity, Delilah approached the owl, worried that it might be injured or in trouble. With each step, her heart beat faster, filled with concern for what she might find. Upon reaching the spot, Delilah discovered Donna, frozen and trembling. But what was incredible was what was under her. A strange lump that she could only uncover. 
When she got closer to the dog, it turned out that Donna was protecting five kittens under her body. The scene deeply moved Delilah. She could see the love and determination in Donna's eyes, which had led her to protect those little beings despite her own suffering. At that moment, Delilah felt an instant bond with Donna. The brave dog who had risked her life for others. Overwhelmed with emotion and sadness for their condition. Delilah couldn't contain her tears at the sight of Donna with the kittens. However, Delilah knew she couldn't leave them there. And she had to act quickly. If she wanted to save this dog and her kittens. Otherwise, the risk Donna had taken would be in vain. Determined. She took her phone and called Pet and Wildlife Rescue. Ready to do everything in her power to ensure the well-being of these animals. Who had captured her heart. The rescuers arrived quickly, taking Donna and the kittens to receive medical attention. And care at the shelter. Donna, the German Shepherd. Despite being exhausted and malnourished. Never left the side of the kittens ensuring their well-being and making sure they were comfortable. The shelter staff were amazed by what the dog had done for the kittens. Almost as if she were their real mother. This motivated them to start sharing the incredible story on social media. And news of Donna and the kittens spread rapidly through the community. Touching everyone with the bravery and love that. The dog had shown on that cold night. Meanwhile, at the shelter. The staff worked tirelessly to ensure that the animals were healthy and happy. Delilah couldn't adopt them because she lived in a very small apartment. But every day after work, she went to visit the dog and her kittens to make sure they were well until they found a home. As the days passed, the kittens began to recover, gaining strength and vitality under the care of their new surrogate mother and the shelter staff. Donna, in turn, also regained her health, and her shiny coat began to shine once again. Although there were still no signs of the kitten's owners, the shelter employees didn't lose hope of finding them a loving home. Soon, the story of Donna and the kittens reached the ears of a family living on the outskirts of town, touched by Donna's kindness and sacrifice. They decided to visit the shelter too meet the brave dog and her little ones. Upon arrival, the family was enchanted by Donna's sweetness and the kitten's tenderness. Moved by the special bond that had formed between them, the family made a life-changing decision to adopt Donna and all the kittens. They knew it would be a significant commitment, but they also understood that it was their opportunity to give these animals the home and love they deserve. Though parting from them was tough. They knew it was for the best, and finally. The German Shepherd could have the life she truly deserved. Donna and the kittens were taken to their new home. Where they were welcomed with hugs and caresses. The family provided them with a warm and safe place to live. This family, now consisting of a German Shepherd and her five kitten children quickly adapted to their new life. Donna continued to care for the kittens as if they were her own, teaching them to play and explore their surroundings. Over time, the kittens grew into beautiful and healthy adult cats. Though each developed their own personality, they all shared an unbreakable bond with the dog, who had saved their lives. On the other hand, Donna found in her new family the love and security she had longed for. The story of Donna and the kittens became a legend in the town of Ontario. A touching testament to the power of love and compassion in difficult times. It also served to inspire others to open their hearts and homes to animals in need. Promoting greater awareness of the importance of adoption and animal care. And so, in a small corner of Canada, Donna and her feline family lived happily and surrounded by love. Always remembering the cold night when a homeless dog and five little kittens found warmth, love, and hope together. A kind woman found a dying lion cub while exploring in the wild. 
She felt sorry for her and saved the poor lion cub. Without her help, he would not have survived the night. But years later, something incredible happened something that would change a woman's life forever. Heather is just like other women. She leads an ordinary life, but loves to travel. So when she is not working, she goes hiking, camping and exploring all over the world. For Heather, it was of course a kind of love. And she liked to pursue it as much as possible. During the journey, she heard the cries of all kinds of animals some small and lovely, some big and dangerous. It's fair to say that Heather knows when and when not to investigate any animal sounds she hears up close and usually keeps her distance from any possible dangerous situation. But one day, while hiking in the mountains, she heard a sound that caught her attention and aroused her curiosity. It was a distant cry, as if an animal had lost its way or was afraid. Although she is an experienced explorer who can move on and maintain herself, this special noise touches her heartstrings. She was not entirely sure what she could not ignore. But she went against her better judgment and walked in the direction of a cry from afar. Heather ventured into an area covered with long grass. The sound is getting louder and louder. But there are obviously no animals. Suddenly, when she was scrubbing a piece of grass, she saw the small animal that was calling. Heather was shocked to find that the sound came from a kitten. It looks thin, as if it hadn't eaten for days. It is also covered with dust and dirt. The kitten is obviously unattended and can't see its mother or father. If she puts it there, it will surely die. This is part of the cycle of life, this is the cruelty of nature. This happens every day. But does that mean Heather can't get involved? When she gets the chance, she reached a compromise. She will leave the kitten in its place. But if it is still there tomorrow and is still alive, she will save it and try to bring it back to health in some way. Heather is not going to give it up completely. She went back to the car and took a bottle of water and any snacks she could find. She brought everything over and put it next to the kitten. The kitten ate happily and finished its last sip. After taking away the cat litter, she stroked it on the kitten's head. In return, the kitten gave her a little cry of gratitude, as if to thank her for her kindness. When she got home, Heather couldn't sleep. She worries too much about kittens. At dawn, she went straight back to the mountain. To the exact area where she had found the little animal. To her surprise. The kitten immediately ran to her from the grass. And recognized her from yesterday. It was obvious that the helpless little animal trusted Heather completely. Obviously, his mother didn't come back to take care of him. So, there's only one thing Heather can do. She picked up the kitten and took it back to her car. She drove it back to her home carefully, and let the little animal walk freely in her backyard. Over the next few days and weeks, Heather established a strong and rare connection with it. Not only that, she makes sure it eats, wants, and has everything it needs to survive. Thanks to Heather's warm-hearted help, it not only survived, but also began to thrive and grow bigger and bigger. But just then, Heather made an amazing discovery. She never saved a kitten at all. Instead, she saved a dying lion cub. The cub is now as big as a puppy and looks more and more like a lion every day. Heather couldn't believe what she saw. To confirm her strong suspicions, Heather took the cub to a veterinary hospital. The veterinarian examined it and conducted some tests and quickly confirmed that the kitten was actually a male cub. They suggested that she put it back in the wild. But to be honest, Heather and the lion cub have developed a strong attachment. In the past few weeks of their acquaintance, she doesn't want to be separated from this little animal yet. Sadly, the reality is that large male lions are not good pets. They are born free and destined to live. 
in the wild with other people of their own kind. Although the two have formed a special connection, it is clear that it would be better to relocate the lion in a more suitable place. Veterinarians suggest that the best way is to send him to Africa, where he can spend his life on vast, sunny plains, join the lion herd, or even form his own. After the arrangements were made, the male lion should be carried away in just a few weeks. He's getting older now. And it's getting harder and harder for Heather to keep him at home. Although he is not violent or aggressive. It's just that his size is unbearable to her. And his inadvertent actions can cause a lot of damage. In spite of this, parting is never easy. When a huge friend was taken to the cage. In the back of the transport truck. Heather cried and the lion gave a deep and mournful moan. Similar to the sound of reminding Heather of his existence for the first time. Many years passed, and unfortunately, Heather found herself suffering from an incurable disease. The doctor only gave her a few months to live. When she thought about what she wanted to do for the rest of her time, she had no doubt about her first wish, to go to Africa to see the lion again. She wanted to check to see if he was all right, and then say goodbye. The journey from the United States was long and arduous. Especially for Heather. Whose physical condition made her weak. Still, she knew it was worth it. And before she realized it. She had taken a jeep with some safari keepers to. The middle of the seemingly desolate plain. The sun was setting, and Heather could not see any animals. Nor the sound of any animals. Let alone lions. Finally, in the distance, she noticed that under a small group of trees, she recognized the shapes of seven or eight lions of different ages. There are cubs, lionesses, and a large, ferocious male. Could this be the cub she found years ago? The jeep is parked not far from the lion, and the ranger is always on the alert and on the lookout for any danger. But then Heather did something they didn't expect. She got out of the car and went to the clearing. The guards yelled at her, trying to get her back in the jeep, but it was too late. The lions were slowly approaching, and the male lion walked in front. Heather seemed unconcerned and held out her hand. To everyone's surprise, the lion moved forward slowly and cautiously, sniffing her curiously. But after sniffing Heather for a few seconds, the lion suddenly realized who she was. It let out a little roar of joy and rubbed its huge head against her weak body. The prairie keeper seemed nervous. But it was obvious that the lion remembered his old friend. And Heather himself seemed very calm and peaceful. Tears of happiness running down her cheeks. Although the lion can never repay Heather for what she has done or save her from her terminal illness. It still means that she can reconnect with her old friends again. It all comes down to one day a long time ago. When Heather expressed sympathy for the little animal. Although the feelings between animals and people cannot be directly expressed in words. Their behavior can always make people feel sincere feelings. Heather's kindness saved the poor little lion. The lion cubs will remember this kindness even for many years. Although they do not live together all the time, their feelings are enviable.